Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. Um, I've tried to start this episode like 10 times, but there's someone outside like having a rally or something, so I'm racing up and down my street, which is a bit of a pain. I think they're gone, so hopefully you won't hear any uh, annoying noises out there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so between episodes, I did notice I was getting like a massive backlog of a bunch of this stuff, and it was filling up my... Uh, where is it? Over here. So yeah, it was filling these uh, discs up. And uh, I, sh I think I pointed this out last episode, but I made a bunch of new discs. Uh, and th these are just 64 for now. I will upgrade these when I can be bothered. Um, I have got a disc manipulator, so I will be putting that, putting one of, well, both of these through the, the manipulator at some point. Why is that? Go oh, wow. This one's nearly completely... Blimey, yeah. So, um, I was just reading some comments from last episode, uh, and the one before that. So, first off, I'll... I did say that at the start of the episode that I would uh, go and explain a little bit of this over here. This is still going. Yep, still going. So, uh, the question was, why didn't I just put this on this pipe here? And... First off, these pipes, at least at the beginning of this pack, I don't know if it's changed. I should probably test, to be fair. But I, um, they, they've never really worked well with flux points. Not sure why. Just seems to be sort of a thing with the, the pipes and flux points. I think it's how they connect, maybe. But yeah, they've never really liked each other. So this could kind of work. The only problem is, you see here, there's like an this is set to export so this is like yeah uh, these pipes can either be an export or an import so you can't do both on the same like side if you know what I mean so I've got this uh, this one here is going import so if I put this if it, if it works I, I should probably try it actually let's get a new flux point Uh, and I can chuck that down there. Yeah, see, it doesn't really connect. I'm not sure if that's just visual or what. Ah, but what I could do... Okay, let's do... Let's just chuck that on. I probably need my wrench. If I do this, it does connect. Okay. So this here is just powering this, this machine. It's not powering this machine because this is set to export. So you can't export out and then expect it to go into another thing that's exporting. Both these things are exporting right now. So both these things are pushing into this, uh, well, the, the sewer, right? Which is right down there. So that, yeah, that, that's my very weird explanation about why I didn't just put this flux point on here. It's because if I put it on here, it wouldn't power this machine. I could put it here and then have another universal on top, like where this cable is. Okay, I'm going to do that just because uh, I want to just show off. Now that I know these cables kind of work. Uh, they're not cables, are they? The pipes. Pipe. Yeah, let's grab that. Uh, yeah, you can just punch these, so that's fine. So this should be running out of power now. It is. So I can do that. That. Get rid of this. Uh, that needs to connect to there. So this would work, I'm guessing. Looks like they're both being powered perfectly fine now. I don't know how much power this takes. But it is being powered, so that's all good. Um, I did set some upgrades in here. I'm not sure if I showed that, but yeah, these are being upgraded. But this is now exporting power going down here, and it, it's going into here because this is not set to export, and exporting power at the bottom because it's a flux point, right? Slightly neater. Yeah. Cool. Right. Uh, next thing is... I did have a comment from someone about. Ooh, 
Right, there we go. Uh, singularities. So you might have seen that I had this open already, and I was just looking through it. Uh, I really like what they've done in this pack. So it's not just get a ton of iron and get a ton of diamonds and all of that to get this ultimate singularity. It's like, here's a bunch of weird items. Please go and get me like a bunch of these weird items and make sure you do all the crafting for it. So like this Tesseract one, that's going to be a bit of a pain to set up. But I like that fact. Phyto grow. Again, that's, that's a cool thing to have. But the one that was pointed out to me was this uh, magical egg singularity so this one here takes experience pearls which only come from weapons that are enchanted with the experience harvester enchant so experience that's that's mending experience harvester here we go so it goes all the way up to five uh we'll have to figure out how to get this uh hopefully i think that the comment was on a on um, so if we pop back down, I knew there, there would be a reason why I had to stay down here. But hopefully we can do the same sort of thing that we've done here with a sword or a weapon that has the enchant on it. You know in my test world I had that, that like diamond sword and it was like punching the zombie. I'm hoping that that will work. Also, I haven't yet put down the rest of this supremium so and I have got a bunch of supremium now so I should probably do that uh, I'm only gonna do it I'm not gonna do it on the edges just got a bit paranoid about the edges there there we go uh, and these need to go back in here look at how many seeds we've got that's insane Is there an Insanium farmland? Farm. There is an Insanium farmland. Damn it. There's no way that I can get that Supremium back is there. Out of the farmland. Recycler. <gasps> Put it in the Recycler. Hmm. How many Supremium can we make? Not, not Supremium, sorry. The uh, Insanium. How many of this can we make? Um, okay, let's get some, let's get the rest of this and we'll just have a look. Because if it's like a good amount, so soup, so we can make 16 of that right now. Plus we've got quite a lot of Insanium down here, uh, not Insanium, sorry, uh, Supremium down here. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine by nine, which is 81 minus the one in the middle. So 80. So we've got an extra 80 there, which is 20 more. Hmm. Maybe we'll do just one for now. And I will get my, actually, what does this give us? Uh, well, we'll just put one down and see what it does. Actually, let's get four and then we can do the middle ones. And where's my pick? Or pipe, pick, there we go. So with these, I will go one, two, three, And this one as well. So let's grab some dirt. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't need those there. One, two, three, four. Let's get our hoe out. You can't just place it on. Really? Looks like you can only do it this way, which is fine, I suppose. 
that just gives us dirt back, right? Yeah, okay. It's fine, we'll just uh, come back here. Oh, and you. Oh. Oh, I'm making a bit of a mess. Uh, this one over here seems to be. Yeah. Right, so let's chuck this back down here. What is it? Something like this. What? what? How'd you go up there? And what does it say on here? So there's like a 50% chance we'll get another Inferium. Uh, and yeah, okay, well that works. Uh, eventually I'd like to upgrade this whole thing to a, an Insanium farm. Actually, it's not even that much extra, right? Well, maybe it is. So if this whole area here that's got Supremium under it at least gets harvested, that's 80, which if you times that by 3 is 240, which if you add an extra 40 onto that, that would be 280. So it's not, it's not that much more using the Insanium. In fact, I'm not going to do any more Insanium, I don't think. I will keep this farmland though, just in case. Anyway, sorry, bit sidetrack there. I do want to show you what I am going to do between episodes because you've kind of already seen it, so I don't want to do it. Come on, up you go. There we go. So I've made, I've, I've neaten this up slightly. Like it's still the exact same as where it was basically. I've just moved a few bits around, and I've got rid of a few that were unnecessary. And I upgraded one of them that was empty, basically. I just removed everything from in there and just chucked it in this maximum compact machine. So this one here is the one that I showed you before, which has all of this stuff in it. And if you notice up here, I've got, you know, the, what's that? That's gravel, sand, dust, and dirt. And then I've got my basalt and my uh, crushed basalt. Oh, hello. Uh, I've got my netherrack and my crushed netherrack in here. That is going up as well. I uh, see it just went up to 70 and it was 69 before. Uh, are you going to do another one? Dun, 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 dun. There it is. See? So that one is going up. That's being fed from this one. So I've got a big old line of... Uh, Material stonework factories now. This one at the top is making netherrack. This is a uh, no upgrades whatsoever crusher for now. I am gonna upgrade these. And then this one is also, yeah, the same. And both of these are pushing into this crusher here uh, because this is gonna be the uh, ultimate crusher, ultimate crushing factory. And I've got this one here, which I'm gonna make do sand same with this one, do sand. These will both push into this crusher here, which will make dust. Um, this one here is going to do... Actually, these two are going to do sand, just normal sand, and they're going to go into the system. In fact, if you, you can see here, I'm not importing these from this one here, this one here, or these two, to be fair. Maybe I should set another one up. So we get some nether. Anyway, these bottom ones here will be for gravel. So I'm going to set that up between episodes. I'll put all of the upgrades in and do all of that sort of stuff. Uh, and basically, I want to I want to step away from my original. Well, yeah, machine number one, which is this. Change my my spawn point in here as well. So I'm right in the middle. But. I want to get away from this big wall that I've got here and move this out and make a bunch of these sluices and get those running in. Uh, well, what I was thinking was, as you can see here, this is the halfway mark. Look, there's there's the 
block of redstone that goes right down the middle and there's the halfway mark so i wanted this side to be storage this side here is going to be a ton of those i might make some netherite ones actually oh and there's the blazing ones as well which we haven't even made yet remember this quest here empowered sluice so i kind of want to make a few of these and just see how they how they work but that's going to be between episodes because I've already done that and it's boring to watch again, right? So I didn't want to do that on camera for you guys. We've got a few quests that we should probably uh, grab. So we've made the plant gatherer and sower. Draconic evolution. Oh, we made these cores last episode because I am using the pick. So I've got that right here. I should probably look into draconic evolution now because I did say I would do it after mystical agriculture. Uh... But anyway, we were looking at quests. I do want to have a look at these bows. I think they look pretty cool. Even though we've got a really cool bow already. It's got agriculture. I made this premium and I made these seeds up here, right? And integrated dynamics. I made the crystallized mineral and I also made the click with a diamond sword, which is not a diamond sword, it's a supremium watering can, right? But they do the same sort of thing. So I completed this quest here as well. So I'm just going to collect all and we'll see what we get. Uh, so we got a sledgehammer. Why has it got a little bit of a Fujima flip right there? Weird. Dextrous motion. Got one of those. Got one of these mantles already. Imperium hammerhead. That's pretty cool. Can I melt this down? This Imperium stuff. I can mount it down. Is there any way that I can get it back? Nah, it doesn't look like it. But I can make a bunch of... I don't know. I can make a cool tool out of that. Maybe. Uh, three times compressed. Cool. Energy hopper. Oh, cool. Niotic, which is... I think that's the highest... No, it's not the highest. That's the diamond tier. Knowledge... Consen... Uh, consent Ractor. Allows XP to be stored and retrieved. Okay. I'm not sure what that's for. I think it's probably one of the machines. Unless, can I just... No idea. Acceleration wand. This might be better than using the time in a bottle. Maybe not though. Just because of the time in the bottle you need time to, to use, right? And I quite like having the time in a bottle because I can show you how long I've been in this world. There's actually another couple of hours on top of this. Maybe like four more hours. So whatever's here, plus four. Because I um, times... What was it after so two five six i used it to grow a bunch of crops so you know the um the wheat and i was trying to get seeds and stuff like that i uh yeah i did kind of go a bit hog wild on that but this acceleration one i think it does the same sort of thing uh right click to speed up right click on block to speed up ticks hmm. we should see how far that goes uh, anything else that's pretty cool? We've got another one of these lenses. Uh, we've got a small crate. We do need crates, right? We need crates for a singularity. Yeah, where's the, is it the big base? Oh yeah, there we go. So this basic crate gets us a basic crate singularity. So we need to automate that at some point, but that's a pretty easy automate. No, well, maybe it isn't, because you need the strip logs. Any good way to strip logs? This I need to learn how to automate, the, the cutting board from Farmer's Delight. Ah, okay, that'll probably use some durability. I need to find some infinite durability tools at some point as well then. Okay, fair enough. Sawmill. Sawmill will do it. Precision sawmill. Ah, I didn't know that this was a recipe now. Easy enough then to make this stripped oak. 
even just the, the one from thermal, but we can make this one into a factory, look, like right here. Right, anyway, I digress. Let's um let's move on to what we're gonna focus on this episode. I wanna focus on enchantments. So I know we've done a, an episode on enchantments already where I got some really basic enchants, like basic but good enchants, right? Um, I kind of want to like do some good enchants on my diving gear as well, considering that's kind of what we'll be wearing from now on. Maybe we'll get some Supremium stuff going. Is there Insanium armor? Insanium armor doesn't look like it exists. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Bit of a shame. Anyway, um, the Supremium armor, so, uh, there was a comment from someone that I had on one of my videos. I think it was two days ago, which was you can use augments on the Supremium armor. Augments. So you can use these things here. Uh, there isn't a, a fight one. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for that already. Uh, they probably removed it from this pack. I do like how much they've, like if I'd have noticed that they'd removed the, the flight from this, I would have been like, okay, they're trying to do stuff with this. That's, I like that, it's good. But there is a mining, for, there, where is it? There we go. Mining fatigue resistance augment, which gets rid of mining fatigue. So if we did get the turtle shell, we could wear Supremium armor with the mining fatigue buff thing well that is a <laughs> there's a squid with a squid hat love it but yeah we could use the um supremium armor thing with the mining fatigue resistance and then we wouldn't get mining fatigue underwater but it still has the slowness so i don't know if there's a slowness uh well i suppose there's a speed so we could use the speed augment also, there's no fall damage, which is pretty nice. Mining AOE, pilling, pathing, poison strength. Yeah, I don't see one. But yeah, we could get um, at least the mining fatigue buff. But I think for now, what we want to do is just enchant the crap out of this rebreather high capacity tank. Maybe make a new one of each. Or if we can, get some uh mending on these and then we can actually just take a bath in this get a bunch of experience and i think as long as we're wearing it it will it like absorb some of the experience and repair itself so that's one way we could do it uh but what i did want to I don't know why this is here what i did want to do is not do it this way and get into the industrial foregoing version of it so we've got where are they they are in here somewhere I used to use these loads in some of the previous packs that I played so let's, let's have a look for fact I think I can just do enchant and yeah we've got these like four machines here plus I think this one here disenchants and then generates energy from it I think it looks oh yeah some of the enchants are better than others by the looks of it molten tool head don't know what that means but yeah protection for i'm sure like some of the really crappy yeah there we go oh holding efficiency five that only gives uh, fair enough i'm sure they've done some balance on this to get get you like the a good amount of uh fe right there but what we're gonna do now is we are gonna set up the recipes for these uh, do you need to know how to make books you know how to make paper which is nice and we've got a ton of leather thanks to our passive mob farm and that is actually a vanilla recipe so we put that in there you know how to make the rest of this I believe so there's one I'm not sure we're gonna need this enchantment sorter we might have an enchanted book but yeah we can Ah, sorry, let's just make it. Factory, sorter, and then... 
We all need to know how to make this, which is fine. And again, that's a vanilla recipe, so we chuck that up there. You can make everything there. I believe that these are fine with these gears here. Nether brick. I, did, I definitely taught you nether, yeah, nether brick. And then this is nether bricks. So, once again, vanilla. And you should know everything now. Yes. So, we've been chucking stuff in here just for now. And we are going to break out and make a couple more crafters. Hmm. Maybe I should make some netherite ones now that we've got a good, decent amount of netherite. Enchant. So I'm going to make one of each of these white. Okay, so you need these. You need like a specific book. That's fine, we'll just not make the sorter for now. So we can make one of those. One of those, and one of those, and then we can look in here. Well, I'll wait for these to be done, and then we'll be back. Right, those are done now, so we can grab those and chant and grab each of these, and we can see how these work. Uh, where's a good place for them? I mean, this is kind of, yeah, but we want to have access to them in here, I think. I do anything on this side? I removed all of these. Yeah, I did. Nice. So, as you know, I love just chucking a flux point down, so I'm going to do that. Uh, let's get rid of these tools here because we don't need them. One, two, three. One of those. We need universal. I'm getting loads of these. I should probably sort that out at some point. In fact, these are really good for us. Is there anything with enchants? I think we can we can pull everything off them onto books. Not sure. Anyway, let's chuck these down and see what they do. So enchantment factory. This one here. It will take any I think it will take either one of the uh two liquids that we've got here. So this one's the one that's got the least. And this one is like full up. Yeah, I could probably use another one of these. Cool. So we'll, we'll do that in a sec. But yeah, it will take any of the two liquids that we've got for uh, the uh, experience. And it will just pour it into this. And then if you put an item in here, it will enchant it for you. And it will give you decent enchants, I think. The extractor is the one I was just talking about. So I'm going to put that on the end. And this applicator will take a little bit of experience. And then if you put a book in here, it will, with, with like, I don't know, you know, Wyvern Pickaxe. Wyvern Pickaxe probably can't put enchantments on, thinking about it. But other things, like a normal pickaxe, you can put enchantments via the books you can just chuck it on here it acts like an anvil basically and takes a bit of experience and then this one here the extractor you feed it books and then it if you put something so what was it it was chest plates that we were getting right yeah loads of these so we've got protection on our netherite one but then we've got protection two protection two on breaking you know, all of these that are enchanted, we can put through here and get all of the books for them. Maybe use the sorter. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set that up another time. But for now, let's grab ourselves a tank. Uh, we can just nick one of yeah, either of these two. Stick that there. Get some lime dye. Lime, lime, lime. That's going to fill that one up down here. And yeah, it's going to drain this out, which is fine because I think we're getting quite a lot. Although we might just not have a back backlog of experience, but you can see there it is going up. Maybe it's a good idea if we dedicate 
one of these for making the the jellies and then one of these for are you actually making the jellies it looks like you've stopped very weird you only stopped because I was looking at you okay well I'm gonna pick this one up and I'm gonna leave this just so it like empties out empties out this here in fact we could have just nicked this and put it up here but oh well and here and that should be filling up now because this is full up Get some pipes. One pipe, we only need one. So now it's going to be filling this one up, which is our anvil, as I said. And let's try a diamond sword and see what we get. Hmm, Paxel. How do you make a Paxel? Does that include a sword? No. Okay, so. Let's just make a regular diamond sword. Kind of need to figure out why we're not getting that many diamonds. Anyway, right, so stick. Just to like show you guys what I mean by this. So this item is for crafting only. And it didn't get an enchant because I'm very annoyed by that. So we just used all of that experience and we're not not getting an enchant for it. Ah. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what though. Okay, you can go away. Sort of. We can take this tank here and yeah, that one is going in here. Oh, we're we not doing it on our other one down here. Now this is also doing it, going up, up there. I thought I'd get more experience out of this, that's all I meant. Eh, anyway. This is getting a bit of essence, so that's fine. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's gone. Some of the hats in this really, like, trip me out. Oh, okay. Did not know that that was happening. So I put these in here because for like aesthetic pur purposes, they weren't actually supposed to do anything. Uh, I mean, they are connected to our network so we can see everything, but this is what it kind of looks like in um, the game Subnautica. We've got like a little area for uh, storage kind of. But I'm simulating these, and these are just 1k storage drives, because uh, it looks weird without the drives in there. And these are all full up, and I didn't realise that. Amazing. Right. Anyway, so now we've got these enchantment thingies working. I'm going to grab... What can be enchanted, then, if you can't use a sword? Hammer? I think that's that was from a comment, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go and look. Actually, let's just make a diamond hammer. Or maybe a netherite hammer. Which needs diamond one anyway, so let's do that. It's the old hammer recipe. Ah. One of these, we've got some netherite because I made a bunch by accident. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Let's just grab one. And we put our smithing table somewhere, right? You can go there for now. How would you upgrade this then? Is it is there no hammer upgrade? Yeah, that's all right. Smith hammer. Okay, that's different. There is a netherite hammer. You just use netherite. What? 
That makes no sense. Anyway, let's do that. Another. <laughs> uh, All right, give us something good, please. Mending's pretty good. In fact, we wanted mending, right? And efficiency five is pretty good as well. And breaking is pretty, okay, this is pretty insane. But what I am gonna do is just gonna rip all of those off for now. <laughs> so, um, books. So you only take one at a time. No, you can put as many in as you want, lovely. That'll get us an efficiency book and a mending book and unbreaking how far does unbreaking go unbreak it does only go up to three so that was like a perfect enchant but we were going for that experience thingy experience book yeah one of these experience harvester not exactly sure what you can get that on uh, I'm gonna go look that up actually so I'll be back in a sec right I can't find any I, I only spent like I don't know five minutes just then looking it up but I can't find any so you know what we're gonna do test world right we're in our test world again uh, you know we've got all of this sort of stuff that we did for the uh, integrated dynamics and you know all of this down here and everything and I have set up oh this is two too wide right now but i put some creative energy cells underneath here and these are creative fluid tanks and they've got uh, essence in them and i've just got them to export downwards into these so we've got a bunch of essence in there and now we just need to figure out how to get like we can use a netherite sword by the looks of it is that going to get an enchant if that is the case there we go we've got netherite uh uh, we need some books. I keep pressing my crafting thing to get that open, but let's get some books and put those in there. In fact, we can just get a bunch of netherite swords, right? In fact, I think even steel swords are a thing, because I have one of those, right? Steel sword. Let's just get a bunch of these and then we'll chuck them in a chest next next to next to it. So let's get a chest as well then. It's a trap chest, don't want one of those. Ah. Uh -uh. Ending sharpness five, nice. So actually what we can do is get this to export to the side and then we just uh, get it to import from the front. Pull. Stick all of these in here, and it should just chuck out a bunch of looting. Looting's pretty cool. Obviously, we can't keep these swords, but it's nice to see what we can get. Because what we are going for is this experience harvester, and I have a feeling maybe If we just chuck some books in here, maybe we just got to get lucky on a book. Holding and fortune. Punch mending. Another thing you can do with, um, so I'll grab that one. With this uh, extractor thing is you can turn the books. Just grab a couple of those. So you see one of these we've got three enchants on it so we can put three books in here and it will split them up so now this is purely respiration purely fire aspects purely power so we can do i don't know if these two like stack together I... can you not do two books together maybe you can't oh but you, you don't need to you can just put whatever you want in here like I can grab this sword, which has got looting and knockback, and I can put fire aspect on it, and it would just, yeah. But I can't put power, and it just won't work, because there's no power with swords, right? 
So maybe we'll make this a double chest. And there it is. Experience harvester five. So we just need books and we need a lot of experience. And we can actually just chuck this in here. Efficiency, unbreaking. There we go. So experience harvester five. Looks like we just need to do it off books, which fine, we could do that. In fact, we could just set, oh, there's another one in there. There's two. There's loads of them. Oh, amazing. So let's hop back into our main world and I'll, uh, I'll set that up for books. All right, here we are. We're back in our main world now. Uh, this is full up again, actually. So let's grab some books anyway. There we go. So, chuck one of these in. Maybe we'll be lucky and get it first try. Nope. I mean, oh, infinite's really good though. Or infinity? Is that the same as infinite? Infinity. Yeah. Cool. We'll probably find a use for that at some point. But for right now, uh, I did want to use this on. Looks like my rebreather is getting a bit mending. So if I stick that on and go and have a bath over here, or a shower even. Fill up again. Hey. We don't need these levels, so pop them back in here. Uh, now what we need to do. I'm sure all of these enchants will be really useful, so I'm just going to make a crate. Actually, we've probably got a big crate. How big is the big crate? That's the question, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that holds 72 items, so it would be able to hold a whole stack of, of books, right? I go to create one of these. Uh, we can also nab all of these out of here. I might just tip it over the edge slightly. I did want to get one more book though. Book. So 64. And this can take 72, which is 8 more. So, yeah, that, that's slightly over the amount that this can take, but that's fine. Now what we need to do is get, I think just a drawer will do it, right? Craft one drawer. And we can get this to do exactly what we did in the other, you know, in our test world. So that needs to be pull. Turn that there. Chuck those in. That should have a book in it now. Yep, yeah, there we go. And what that will do is it will push when this gets significant amounts. I think it's 30, no, 28 buckets. Not sure, but when it gets the right amount of fluid, in fact, we could remove the pipe for now and then it won't fill up in here. Even better, what we can do is wrench that and push that back in so I'm not going to use this until we've got like good amount that will force more in here pull out of here we'll get a couple more in chance and maybe we're lucky on this book we might have to look in here for this efficiency and sh Ooh, shotgun I did want to look at shotgun put that on our our bow that we've got Soul speed, no idea what soul speed is. Efficiency, protection, yeah, all of these are pretty awesome. But yeah, once this, is it gonna do another book? Yeah, see, it was like 30 or 28 or something like that. Backstabbing, unbreakable and power five, nice. 
that's been drained now cool so we can remove this pipe I'll uh whilst I'm building you know what I said I would build between episodes which is the resource generation here and then I might that's a point I might set up some sluices in this side here that's I think that's what I was going to go for is sluices on this side here and um I've just been reminded actually that xnet is in this pack and I am going to do a ton with xnet because I I love xnet I think it's such a good mod so yeah I'll be I'll be setting up some xnet stuff to basically feed a bunch of sluices Maybe netherite, maybe the blazing ones, maybe the just normal diamond. And get all of that to push into another system, which will probably end up feeding into here. Which will then feed into our... I've forgotten what they're called. Uh, they're from thermal, right? So what's the machine called that we're using? I could go in there and just have a look, but... Induction smeller, that's it. So we could have all of those just feed into the induction smeller and then we'll get all of the raw items out of here. I don't know if I explained it at the beginning of the episode, but a few of these things have got like fully upgraded. So this can take ridiculous amounts. Uh, this can take literally like what well, I had in my other series, a cobblestone generator pushing into one of these draw things, which didn't have many upgrades. Actually, I think it was fully upgraded, so it'd be the same as this. And it had, I want to say, 20 million items in there. And that was 20 million of these, so the, the nuggets in this case. So yeah, we've got a little ways to go before this is actually full up and it will start avoiding stuff off. But yeah, all of these avoided. Most of these have got upgrades, except these ones here, which have only got a few upgrades. Like, I think each of these has got at least one just in case there's a backlog and these ones here should have a few more upgrades because they're not uh yeah these bottom ones don't go into and this one over here this one does go into the induction spout but these ones don't so yeah they've got a couple of i'm gonna put a few more upgrades in here anyway i'll do that between episodes uh this seems like a good wrapping up point Let's go check, see if we've got any other awesome books. Backstabbing again, damn. Okay, right, we're going to do that between episodes. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.